Time goes like that. Some of you may know the story of when I was six years old. I had something wonderful happen in my life that changed my life forever. I'll share it with you right now. I was six years old and it was my first real birthday party celebrating six years of life. And my parents invited my friends and our family members and people from church and some relatives. And among these different people that were invited to my birthday party was my great, old, wonderful Uncle Eli. And I loved that man. He, he was wise and he always tried to teach me things. And I didn't always understand everything he, wanted, he was trying to teach me or trying to tell me but he took the time to care and to try to teach me, and so he was my good friend. And so it was that during my sixth birthday party, old Uncle Eli came up to me and asked if I had a couple of minutes. He'd like to talk to me. There's something he wanted to tell me. And I said, sure. So we went outside and we sat on the wooden bench under the pine trees, under, uh, it was nighttime, under a sky that was filled with stars, like, like diamonds. And Eli turned to me and he said, how old are you? And I said, I'm six years old. And he said, well, if you're six years old, I'll bet you can snap your fingers. And I said, sure I can. He said, we'll do that, snap your fingers. So I did. And he said, that's very good, and that's good. Um, he said, there's something I, I, I'd like you to do for me. And I said, sure. He said, next year, on your seventh birthday, during your birthday party, I'd like you to go outside again and snap your fingers again, like you did just now. Would you do that? And I said, sure. I, didn't re I had, did not know what, I didn't understand what he was trying to tell me, but I liked him and I believed in him, so I said I would do that. He said, then there's something else I'd like you to do. He said, I'd like you to do the same thing again on your eighth birthday, and then on your ninth, and then on your tenth, and then on your fifteenth, and twentieth, and twenty-fifth, and every five years thereafter for the rest of your life, sometime during your party of celebration of your life, I'd like you to go outside or someplace by yourself, stop for a moment, and snap your fingers. Would you do that? And I said, yes, I would. And he said, though, there's one other thing I'd like you to do. He said, I'd like you to snap your fingers again right now. And so I did. And he said, did you notice that it seemed like, even though it was a few minutes, it seemed like not even a second of time passed between when you snapped your finger a few minutes ago and just now? And I sort of understood, but, but not completely. And so it wasn't until my seventh birthday, a year later, that I finally understood. Eli had wanted to be with me that year, but he couldn't be there. He had gone to sleep one night during the summer and never woke up again. But I remembered my promise to him, and so during my seventh birthday party, I went outside and I sat down on the same bench, and I looked up at the stars in the sky, and I snapped my fingers. And it was then that I realized that not more than a moment of time had passed from one year, a year ago, to then. And, and, so, and then I did the same thing again on my eighth birthday, and then my ninth, and then my tenth, and then my 15th and 20th and 25th and 30th and every five years thereafter, sometime during my party of my life, my thanks to my Lord that I'm here, I'll go someplace by myself and I'll think back and I'll remember and I'll snap my fingers and I'll do that soon, my 55th birthday and then my 60th and my 65th, my 70th and 75th and 80th and 85th, as long as the Lord will allow me to be here and, and, and to care about people, I will do that. Knowing that it's what happens between those brief, rapid clicks in time that ends up being the sum total of your life and what you've done. Some while back, I was alone on one of those birthdays and my older son married and older son was, had promised he was going to call me that evening, so I waited for his call, and it got later and later, and I thought he might not call, and then it got very late, and then I realized he probably wouldn't call, and then finally, very late into the evening, finally, the telephone rang, and I picked it up, and I said, hello, and there was just silence on the other end of the line. So I said, hello again, <clears throat> and then there was silence, and then finally, 
across the silence, across the distance, across the years and across the memories, I heard on that telephone one clear snap he had remembered. And now, not too long ago, my grandson, Anthony, celebrated his sixth birthday. And so on his sixth birthday, my son took my little grandson outside during his birthday party, and they sat down together under the stars, and my son said to my grandson, how old are you? Six years old. Then I'll bet you can snap your fingers. If you and I were to meet a year from now, as we may well, and we look at each other, and as a way of salute, we snap our fingers together. I will look at you, and you will look at me, and we will both know whether we did it or not. And the time that passed in between will have gone from here to here. And it is the time that you have. It is the greatest blessing, along with your life and family, that you could ever receive. And so I encourage you, make that time count. Make your business count. I've come to this clear conclusion, that if you make this business count, your life will count more in every important way. I've often wished that there were some, some way I could find to get all those other people out there who aren't here this weekend just to experience the truth for a couple of days and their lives would change. And I've come to the conclusion that there's no way that I can just get them all here at once. But I'm certain of this. If you choose to succeed, if you choose to get your programs working for you, if you choose to see the dream, if you choose to have the vision, and if you choose to share, then one by one, those other folks will join us here. I believe that's true, and that's why I'm here. I believe that you believe it's true, too, and that's why you're here. And in not too long a time, the rest of the world is going to believe it, too. You are incredible. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. God bless you. Good night.